So what was your first thought when Theresa May called the snap election? Uh, my first thought was it was about bloody time uh, because we've been calling uh, for this since uh, the referendum campaign. We felt the referendum should be the start of the process. Uh, but also, I think, confirmation that this is a prime minister that uh, says one thing and does another. You know, it was a huge U-turn. It's not the first. She talked about involving people, everyone in the Brexit process, but has ignored the 48% you know, who voted to remain in the referendum. Yes. Uh, but also, just, you know, this is quite clearly the timing. In terms of the timing, uh, cynical opportunism. Uh, there's no doubt about you know, why she's doing it now. So the Green Party have only got one MP. Why should anyone be voting Green as terms of the power which the Green Party currently have? Um, well, here in Bristol West, uh, we had a massive surge up to 27% in the vote at the last election. Uh, and you know, if the national swing in the polls was currently replicated, we'd have a Green MEP right here and there are a Green MP here. But in the last general election, we got more votes than all the other general elections put together. We're currently polling higher than that election result. Uh, so there's a sense of momentum. But I think the bigger picture here is important also to bear in mind that we've seen a government that's responding uh, to UKIP's call to jump and by saying how high over Brexit. Yes. They've capitulated. Uh, Labour sadly capitulated to UKIP as well. And we're at a fork in the road and there needs to be an antidote to UKIP. And clearly it is the Green Party that are that antidote to UKIP. If you want to take the country in a different direction, it's the Greens that you've got to plump for. So are you in favour of votes at 16? Absolutely, unequivocally I'm in favour of votes at 16. Why? Um, well, <laughs> I believe in uh, no taxation without representation. And if you're taxing uh, people at 16, surely they deserve to have a say. Um, it is wrong that we have a two-tier system which pays them less uh, in terms of the minimum wage and the living wage, so-called living wage. And we need to address that. But 16-year-olds should be absolutely having a say at, at this point more than any other because they are the ones that are going to have to live with the consequences of what happens in this general election. It isn't just about five years, it's about 50 years. Yes. You know, this is going to determine what happens for decades to come. Uh, I've got a 17-year-old. Uh, she should be voting in this because the decisions that we make in this election will affect her the longest. So we spoke to Tim Farron earlier in the week uh, where he told us that the true opposition, the only true opposition to Theresa May and hard Brexit was the Liberal Democrats. Would you contest that view? Yeah, and I've called Tim out on that. <laughs> I've called Tim out on that personally uh, and had a little conversation with about him, about that with him. Uh, uh, Tim knows that's not true. Um, and, you know, we are not tribal. We like to work with the Liberal Democrats. There is shared ground, but we do have a different perspective on Europe. We're both opposing extreme Brexit, but Tim wants the Liberal Democrats to be in the single market because he kind of believes in the single market. Uh, we want to be in the single market because we believe in protecting freedom of movement and freedom of movement is our number one priority. So are you the only party in the UK that is standing in favour of freedom of movement? Um, as I understand it now, we are, and, and we're principled about it, and we're unapologetic about it. And that's one thing that you will get, always get with the Green Party. You know, if we believed in freedom of movement before the referendum, that hasn't changed because of a referendum result. Yeah. So Donald Trump told us that uh, climate change was a myth. Do you agree? Funnily enough, <laughs> I don't agree with Donald Trump. Uh, it is worrying what's going on in the States. It's worrying what he's doing with the pipelines. He's worrying that he wants to rejuvenate the, the coal industry. It's a dying industry. It's not a shrewd economic move at all. I think what is important to bear in mind is there is a global movement going on to transition economies uh, over to renewable energy, uh, to democratize the energy supply. And you know, renewable energy is a wonderful way of doing it. Uh, the technology is improving you know, year on year exponentially. Prices are coming down. Um, just in the UK, you know, we're an island, so why on earth are we not making use of the massive offshore renewable potential in terms of tidal, in terms of wind? New Economics Foundation recognizes we can generate over six times our annual electricity consumption from offshore renewables. We could then export that technology around the world. It makes economic sense as well as making sense for the climate. Is it time we changed our electoral system in the UK? People said clearly in the referendum they wanted to take back control. A key to that is giving people a proportional system. Under you know, uh, our 2015 result, we should have had 24 MPs in the House of Commons. Remember, 20, uh, imagine 24 Caroline Lucases in the House of Commons. Now, there would be one hell of a formidable opposition. Can you clarify the Green Party's position on Brexit? On Brexit, yeah, we are uh, opposed to an extreme Brexit. What we want to see is a ratification referendum, uh, not just a vote on the terms of Brexit in Parliament, but a ratification referendum. Uh, we believe that the referendum should have been the start of a process that involved uh, everyone in the process of what kind of country we want to see for decades to come. Uh, we think the government has treated the people with contempt, uh, has sidelined 48% uh, of the population and more uh, in their proposals and their intended negotiations. And so we've got to have people who are involved in that process right through and have a say on the final deal. And it's got to be a meaningful say. So we have the Metro Mayor elections coming up in the upcoming weeks on the 4th of May. 
Why should the people be voting for your candidate in the West, Darren Hall? Um, Darren is a person of integrity. Uh, he's shown a very strong independent spirit. He's rooted in the local community. He was, of course, the candidate when we had that you know, massive swing uh, to the Greens in, in 2015. Uh, he is someone that has a, a vision for Bristol, passionate about Bristol. And I, my question to you would be, why wouldn't you vote for Darren Hall?